The following is a class on the Nectar of Devotion, page number 32 through 33, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on January 29th, 1973, in Calcutta, India. As has been stated before, there are three kinds of happiness, the material, spiritual, and devotional. Devotional service and the happiness due to its execution are not possible so long as one is materially affected. <coughs> if someone has desire for material enjoyment, or for becoming one with the Supreme, these are both considered material concepts. Yes. <coughs> Three kinds of happiness. Bhog, Tyag, Bhakti, Shiva. Bhog, Tyag, Shiva. The core means they are after Bhog, sense and jhan. And the Gyanis, they are after uh, another side of negation of sense and jnana. Uh, when one is fed up with sense and enjoyment, just like in your country, the young boys, they are practically fed up with the way of sense and enjoyment as their fathers and grandfathers had done. So, in the name of tyago, renunciation, they have taken another kind of sense and enjoyment, uh, intoxication, unrestricted sex. Uh, so this is also another sense enjoyment, bhog and tyag. <coughs> Real enjoyment is devotion. There is a very practical example. Just like if you get all of a sudden uh, a certain amount of money, say one hundred rupees note lying on the street, if you get or lying here, so if you take it, your conscience will beat, because that does not belong to you. You have picked up. You'll always think, oh, I am taking somebody's money, whose money it was, oh, I am doing some sinful. In this way, your mind will disturb. So that is the taking. <coughs> and similarly, if you don't take, if you leave it there, then you'll also be disturbed. You'll think, somebody has left this money here, so I did not collect it. Somebody will collect it and he'll take it away. This is not nice. The best thing is that you pick it up and if you deliver to the person who has lost the money or who has left the money. The three things. The so one thing is bhog, if you take yourself. And if you don't take, that is tear. And if you pick it up and deliver to the right person, that is devotion. So, everything belongs to Krishna. <coughs> Krishna says, bhogtaram jagadavasam sarva lopa maheshwaram. <coughs> I am the supreme proprietor, Mahāyuśyaram. Mahāyuśyaram, Parameśyaram. <coughs> so everyone is śara, but nobody is Mahāyuśyara or Parameśyara. Mahāyuśyara is Krishna. Sarvalokhu Maheśyaram, Mahāyuśyaram. Mah means the great. <coughs> So everything belongs to Krishna. <coughs> this is unknown to the non-devotees. The Kormis also do not know. Uh, 
the Kormis think that the resources of the world that is given by nature for our enjoyment. This is the modern theory of economic development. Everyone is thinking like that. That by nature we have got the gold mine. So we shall take it and use it and enjoy. This is Karmi's view. And but there are many Karmis, everyone is just like what is that land where there is too much gold in South America? Huh? Huh? Brazil. There is too much gold stock there. And every nation is hankering how to take it. That will be the effect. What is, what is the struggle in this world? <coughs> struggle is the gold is there, the gold mine is there. And everyone is trying to exploit it. How I can take? How my nation can take? Nationality means expanded selfishness. Uh, they are very much fond of nationality, but that nationality is also selfishness uh, by combined effort. Uh, our, in our country, Mahatma Gandhi is supposed to be the father of nationality, not only in our country, in many other countries. <coughs> but what is that nationality? Mahatma Gandhi wanted that the Britishers must go away. My countrymen shall enjoy. So this is extended selfishness. In the beginning, I want to enjoy. Then if I might extend my enjoyment family-wise, community-wise, or nation-wise, that does not change the quality of self-business. Uh, people are going on in the name of nationality, big leaders, but from our point of view that Neither as nation or community or person, you are the proprietor of things. Krishna is the proprietor. So if you expand your selfishness in the name of nationality, I possess this land, we do not approve. We say, Ishavasamidam Sadma. Everything belongs to Krishna. Why you are claiming yourself? as a nation or as individual or community, that's not proper. <coughs> Just like pickpocket and a gang, gangsters, organize rogues, thieves, it does not change the quality. Uh, there was some talk, you know, between Alexander the Great and the rubber. The rubber proved that you are a greater rubber that's all. Why you are trying to punish me? Huh? Alexander the Great arrested one rubber and he was going to punish him. So the rubber explained, hey, why you are punishing me? You are also a rubber. You are going under the name of conqueror and because I am not as great as you are, therefore you are trying to punish me. Huh? So why you are so Alexander the Great was very uh, highly advanced. He immediately released him. Yes, I am also a rabbi. Why should I punish him? Uh. <coughs> so uh, every stenae was avuchate. Everyone in this material, one, one who has no Krishna consciousness. He is a thief, he is a rogue, he is a robber. Everyone. Just like the Americans. They occupied the land of America by killing the Red Indians. And now they are claiming proprietor and there is immigration department. Nobody can come here. It is our land. This is going on. The first thing is stolen property. 
everyone. Uh, there is another story. <coughs> A group of thieves stolen some things, and when they are dividing, one of them kindly uh, morally divides. Uh, morally divides. Honestly divide. The thing is taken dishonestly and they are dividing honestly. So this is going on all the while. Everything is taken dishonestly. And when there is question of division, the United Nations honestly dividing. The association of the honest man, the United Nations. All plunderers, rogues, thieves, and they have made an association, united nation. You see? <laughs> Basically they are all rogues and thieves. As soon as there is opportunity, they will commit all criminal activities, and they are doing. So this is not failure. So, yeah, happiness, my material position, is the happiness of the rogues and the thieves. One who is happy by possessing some material thing, he is no better than rogue and thief. And one who is renouncing Brahma Sattva Jagan Mitha, he is a fool. Because how, what you are renouncing? When did you possess it? If you possess something, then you can say, I renounce it. But if you do not possess, then where is the question of renouncement? So both of them are wrong. Uh, there are three kinds of so-called spiritual happiness, Brahmasu, Brahmananda. Here three kinds of ananda, Jarananda, Brahmananda. Jarananda means material, as Kormi is trying to possess more and more, more and more. Let me possess, let me possess. This is Jarana. Today I have got, say, oh, one lakh of rupees. Idam adham ayalabdham, idam prase punadhanam. This is stated, the asuri vichar. Hmm? Today I have got so much money. And tomorrow I am going to increase it to so much. Kosti adhuam. I am the richest. This is Karmi's conception. And Gyanis, <coughs> because they are fed up, so they say, Brahma Sattva Jagan Mitha. This world is false. Grapes are sour. You know the story, Jackal? He wanted to take the grapes, jumping, jumping, jumping. When he could not get it, he says, oh, Grapes are sour. I have no necessity. Similarly, these rascals, they renounce the world. Ah. What renounce? And what you had, you are renouncing. And this is also wrong. The real happiness is Seva. This is Krishna's. And it must be uh, used for Krishna's purpose. And that is real happiness. Actually, that is a fact. The same example, if you pick up one hundred rupees note, if you pocket it, then you are a thief. If you don't touch it, then it will be lost, somebody will take it. If you pick up and give to the original proprietor, that will be satisfaction. That is Vaishnava pleasure. We do not say anything bad. How? We do not say. That is Rupa Goswami's formula. That is the question of formula. Prapanchi kataya buddhya hari sammandhi vastuna mamokshu vi parityago phalguva irāga tatra. Phalguva irāga, mamokshu vi, those who are after liberation, nidvet brahmāna sanna, they are giving up this word, becoming sannyāsi, māyāvari sannyāsi, brahma sattva jagan mitha. Rupa Goswami said, Phalgu Vairāgya. Why Phalgu? Phalgu means uh, insignificant 
And Phalgu means there is a river, Phalgu, in the Gaya. Those who have gone to Gaya, there is a river. The Gaya city is situated on the river Phalgu. This is a, the river is got Phalgu because on the bed you will find only sand. But if you push your hand within the sand, you will find water. Similarly, Phalgu Vairagra means the so-called sannyasis. They are taking the dress of renounced order, but within the heart they have got all desires to fulfill. Within the heart. If you push your hand within his heart, you will find he has got all desires for material enjoyment. That is called Phalgu Vairagra. On the surface there is no water, sand. But within, ah, oh, there is flow of water. There you go. So, this Phalgu Vairagra Valas, Mahabhari Sannyasis, uh, Jaganamitya, they give up this word, uh, so many Sannyasis. But at heart, there is the desire, I shall become God. I shall become God. Let's see. We are trying, the karmis are trying to become minister, and he is trying to become God. So how much great desire he has got. And outwardly he appears to be renounced. The Brahma, Nidbhid Brahmana Sandha. But a devotee, his happiness is different, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said. Nadanang Najanang Nasundaring Kavitang Vajagadi is a kama. We do not want this. Mamo Janvani Janvani Sari Bhavata Bhakti Rahui Pati Kai. A Vaishnav does not desire even deliverance. What to speak of Dhanang Janang Rubhavati Vajra? That is real. He wants simply Krishna to serve him. That's it. Andamilasya. So that happiness is perfect happiness. That is real shanti. Real shanti. Chaitanya Chaitamrita therefore say, Bhukti Mukti Siddhi Kami Sakali Asant. Bhukti means karmi. Simply wanting, possess. Uh, that, that possessing labor is also another uh, asanti to struggle to possess. So he is asanta. Mukti, he wants to become God, one with God. And kritya sadhana, austerities, penance, so many things he has to do, meditation just to become God. So that is also troublesome. The very Shanti. Yogis, they are also practicing pranayam, uh, so many asana, dhyan, dharana, asana, pranayam. So very Shanti. He has to uh, keep his head down and uh, this is called sirsasana, then that is also another asana. And then he has to show magic, otherwise he will not be recognized. He has to prepare rasgulla uh, by magic. Uh, these are all troublesome things. Uh, so bhukti, mukti, siddhi. Bhukti means karmi, mukti means gani, and siddhi means yogi. Bhukti, mukti, siddhi, kami, sakali asāṁ. Their process is asānti. Uh, Krishna Vakta Nishka Atayev Shanti. Krishna Vakta does not require to possess anything or to renounce anything or to show some magic power. No. He has nothing to do all this. Krishna Vakta does not want that I shall show some magic and people will be attracted. If one is Krishna Bhakta, he attracts thousands without any magic. 
The only magic is Krishna Bhakti. That's all. He doesn't require to show any yogic magic. Ah, it is so nice. Ah, therefore, one should concentrate upon devotional service. Ah, everything is there. Ah. Sarvahana Matsute Ja. If we want to devote about Chuta, everything is complete there. Ah. And he's Santa. He does not require it. He does not endeavor for it. But because he is Krishna Bhakta, everything follows him. Everything follows him. And that Anand is nice. Uh, there is no need of showing magic or renouncing this world or accepting this world. These things are not required by Krishna. Uh, because if he accepts, it is for Krishna. If he rejects, that is false Krishna. Anukulla sasankalpa pratikullam vivarjana. We advise, give up this habit. No illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling, no meat eating. So this is there. Why there? For Krishna. For Krishna. Krishna wants this. Krishna does not want to see us devotees. Therefore he must leave. And Krishna says, Manmana Bhavavad Bhakta Madhyajima. Who accept it? So our business is to accept by which Krishna is pleased and reject by which Krishna is pleased. Our central point is how Krishna is pleased. So we have nothing to do with acceptance and rejection. We have to see whether Krishna or his representative is pleased. Jasya prasadat bhagavat prasad. Jasya prasadat nagati kito. That is our practice. And if we live in that way, then we shall be happy. That is called happiness by devotion and service. Go on. Because the intellectualist <coughs> cannot appreciate the spiritual happiness of association and the exchange of loving affairs with the Supreme Personality of God. Because they have no conception of God. Nirakar. So Nirakar, where is the loving affairs with Nirakar? I cannot love the air. If I want to love, if somebody says, you love this air, Nirakar, so how I, where is my love? Love must be there, with, just like here we have got Krishna. We can love. Uh, we cannot love this sky. So they have no conception of God. Therefore, their love of God is a fictitious. Just uh, like Rabindranath Tagore, he has written Gitanjali. Uh, to me, who is that to me? He does not know. All the poetry is to me, Tomar. Who is that rascal to me, yes, Tomar? But that he does not know. He is thinking of This is going on. Huh? Now, if I say my husband to me, I know he is my husband, or his form is like that, then I can say, but he does not know who is that to me. Huh? Everyone. The main person is will pray, Tameva Mata, Tameva Pita. But who is that Mata? Who is that Pita? That he doesn't. We say, here is your Mata Pita, Krishna. Here is Krishna. That is tangible. Fact, not fictitious. <coughs> Go on. Their ultimate goal is to become one with the Lord. This concept is simply an extension of the material idea. In the material world... Our concept is also to become one with God. But not that I become one with the God. I agree with God. Krishna says, sarva dharma an paritajya mami kang saranamai. I agree. Yes, sir. So long... I was foolishly conducted. Now I surrender unto you. 
মানস দেহ গেহ যো কিছু মোর অর্তৃণ তুয়া পদে নন্দ কিশোর দিস ইজ সার দ্যাট ইজ ওয়ান লেস নাও আই হ্যাভ সারেন্ডার টু ইউ এভরিথিং মার অবি রাখ অবি যে ইচ্ছা তোহার দিস ইজ ওয়ান লেস ওটা ইউ লাইক আই ডু ইউ কিল মি আর প্রোটেক্ট মি যে ইচ্ছা তোহার নিত্য দাস প্রতি তুয়া অধিকার বিকজ আমি ইটার্নাল স্লে ইউ ক্যান ডু হোয়াট এভার ইউ লাইক আশ্লিষ্ট বা পাদরতাং পিনষ্ট মা মর্মাহতাং করো তু বা যথা তথা বা বিদ দাতুলম পট হোয়াট এভার ইউ লাইক ইউ ক্যান ডু মত প্রাণনাথ স্টিল ইউ আর মাই প্রাণনাথ দিস ইজ ওয়ান I keep my individuality, but I am so surrendered that I have nothing to disagree with Krishna. This is one thing. Uh, not that I mix up, I lose my individuality. I have got individuality. I must go on with individuality. Individuality is never strong. And the Bhagavad Gita is saying that all these kings, you and me, All of us, we existed in the past. We are now existing, and in the future also we shall exist. There is no question of uh, intermingling the individuality. The individuality is there, but individuality sacrifices full agreement. Uh, full agreement. That is oneness. Uh, Just like in our society, I am the head, so everyone is in agreement with me. That is oneness. Not that my disciples, my students have lost their individuality. They are using their individuality to improve the Krishna consciousness movement, but sanctioned by me. That is oneness. That is oneness. Similarly, Our devotional service is like that. We, varieties of work we are doing, but we must see whether Krishna is satisfied. That's all. Sānuṣṭhitasya dharmasya saṅsiddhi harito sanam. This is our philosophy. Sānuṣṭhitasya dharmasya. Everyone has got individual capacity to do something. But we must see whether that is uh, satisfactory to Krishna or his representative. Just a prasad or Bhagavad prasad. Just in the office, the clerks are working. The office master, superintendent. If he is pleased, then the proprietor is pleased. Uh, he, he, the clerk hasn't got to show a separate and never. For pleasing the proprietor, if the man in charge is pleased, then proprietor is pleased. Similarly, uh, we have to please our spiritual master, and if he is pleased, it is to be supposed Krishna is pleased. And my only only aim is, my only success is to see if Krishna is pleased. Sanu sthita sadharma sangsi bhi harito janam. The others may be displeased or pleased. It doesn't matter. One has to be uh, uh, assured whether Krishna is pleased. Then it is all. That is oneness. Oneness does not mean I lose my individuality. That is not oneness. <coughs> Go on. In the material world, everyone is trying to be the topmost head man amongst all his fellow men or neighbors. Either communally, socially, or nationally, everyone is competing to be greater than all others in the material concept of life. This greatness can be extended to the unlimited, so that one actually wants to become one with the greatest of all, the Supreme Lord. This is also a material concept, although maybe a little more advanced. This kind of conception that I shall become God, or I shall declare myself God, this is also material concept. This is not spiritual concept. But spiritually, nobody can become God except God. 
But he has no knowledge of God. He is thinking that he is God. Vimukta manina tayyasta bhava jannir vindakha vimukta manina. Manina means taking for granted that I have become liberated, I have become God. And I advertise and some foolish people will advise me, oh, here is God. Here is Balaj Yogi, incarnation, God. So, such cheap God, we don't accept. Uh, we want to see the Krishna as seven years old, he lifted the Govardhan hill. So, if you are actually God, then show me that you can lift a hill, you can kill a putana, uh, then I can accept. Uh, what sort of God you are? Hmm. We don't accept such cheap God. Hmm. God. However, the perfect spiritual concept of life is complete knowledge of one's constitutional position. Hmm. And thus one knows enough to dovetail himself in the trans. This is called Atmogya. Atmogya. Parabhavastava Dabodhaja. Javana Jidya Sato Atma Tattam. This is Atma Tattva. Uh, I am spirit soul that is partial knowledge. And <coughs> I am eternal spirit soul, but unless I know that I am uh, part and parcel of the Supreme Atma, Krishna, my knowledge is not perfect. Simply Brahma Bhuta to know that I am spirit soul. Uh, that is not perfect knowledge. You have to still go further. Uh, <coughs> therefore, in the Srimad Bhagavatam it is said, dharma prajita koitava And Siddhar Swami says that koitava, when one thinks artificially that he becomes, he has become liberated, one with the Supreme, that is also koitava, cheating. He is not. <coughs> How he can be one with the Supreme Lord? Then how he has become insignificant creature in the Supreme Law. Therefore, this kind of conception that I have become God now, this is also cheating, another cheating. He is cheating self deception. He is cheating himself. And what to speak of others? So, this kind of oneness to become God. They are imperfect knowledge. What? One must know that he is finite and that the Lord is infinite. Thus it is not possible to actually become one with the Lord even if one aspires to it. Yes. Simply desiring. Kaya avijuddha bhav jinnira vindakha vimukta manina mani maliya God of you. No, not like that. What? Therefore, anyone who has any desire or aspiration for satisfying his senses by becoming more and more important, either in the material sense or in the spiritual sense, cannot actually relish the really sweet taste of devotional service. Srila Rupa Goswami has therefore compared possessing these bhukti material and bhukti liberation desires with being influenced by the black art of a witch. In both cases, one is in trouble. Bhukti means material enjoyment, and mukti means to become free from material anxiety and to become one with the Lord. These desires are compared to being haunted by ghosts and witches, because while these aspirations for material enjoyment or spiritual oneness with the Supreme remain, no one can relish the actual transcendental taste of devotional service. <coughs> 